Coachella Foundation was created by Steven Spielberg after Schindler's List to document the personal stories of the Holocaust. It has since expanded to record and memorialize other atrocities from around the world. Dr. Robert Williams is the executive director of the USC Shoah Foundation. He joins us live now with more. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. And I know you have an announcement to make tonight about how you all are going to be handling what happened in Israel. Thank you, Alex. Yes, so for the last several months, actually, we've been gearing up for a major initiative to capture the testimonies of victims of today's anti-Semitism. After the terror attack by Hamas, we found that we had to move even faster than planned. So we announced a couple of days ago our intention to begin taking testimonies of victims in southern Israel, victims of those anti-Semitic terror attacks. And you obviously have been collecting testimonies not only from Jews that have been suffering through genocide, but from conflicts all over the world for decades now. Um, what is sort of the through line that you see in all of these different attacks and the thousands and thousands of people you've talked to? If you had to distill it down to two themes, it would be a world without hate and a world without violence born of hatred. And the vast majority of our holdings come from the Holocaust. So naturally, there is a strong desire by those survivors who trusted us with their memories to create a world without anti-Semitism in a world where anti-Semitism won't lead to the atrocities that we have seen growing year by year over the last decade. And a big part of, of it is recording people on camera so you literally can see and feel their testimony. Why is that aspect of it so important and, and especially how different it must be also to record people like you are now where it's so fresh well even though i have all of these books behind me i don't fool myself into believing that most people are moved by the written word not as much as they used to be but if they're able to see and hear from a real living individual who has experienced a tragedy who has gone through trauma who has processed that trauma it builds a psychological bridge, uh, a bridge that can be used to not only build respect for one another, but respect for the history and, and the world in which we live. We're looking at some video of some of the innovative technology you all have created so that you can actually interact with some of those folks as well. So obviously, you talk a lot about anti-Semitism, uh, but we've also seen a rise in some anti-Palestinian hatred in the last few weeks and, and some really terrible things being said uh, to people that don't deserve it. Your thoughts on where are we at as a planet right now and how we address this moment? It's a... It's a terrible moment. I, I'm not going to, to sugarcoat it. Right now, all forms of hate seem to be on the rise. The gates have opened up. And there has been a rise in Islamophobia, just as there's been a massive rise in anti-Semitism. These two forms of hatred differ from one another, to be sure. But this moment where we see anti-Semitism on the rise on this side and Islamophobia on this side should be an opportunity to be begin bringing different communities together for discussions about the ways that the hate they experience is similar, the ways that it's different, and how they can begin building coalitions to bring about a more positive change. At the end of the day, we shouldn't use individual experiences of hate to separate communities. They should instead be an opportunity to provide a common glue. Yeah, although nuance can be so complicated on um, these discussions, yes. especially when things are so raw right now. Dr. Robert J. Williams, thank you for the important work that you all do at the USC Shoah Foundation, and people can log on to your website uh, to see and feel those testimonies for themselves. Thank you very much.